Hey guys, just behind us is the world's largest piece of exposed granite with a carving larger than Mount Rushmore. And in this episode of the Tulsa Life, we're going to take you to the top. Okay guys, we're set up inside of Stone Mountain Campground, which is located inside of Stone Mountain Park. This park is Georgia's most visited attraction, and the campground is Georgia's largest campground. There is 441 campsites here, 141 of them with full hookup, and 250 of them with just electricity and water. So, and we'll be showing you this campground a little bit later today. But again, the first thing we wanted to do on our agenda is to go climb that mountain. There's two ways to get to the top of this mountain, and we're going to take you on both. Just a little short drive away from the uh, campground. And the reason we're not going to ride the beach cruisers is because uh, this place is not designed for beach cruisers. It, uh, they make mountain bikes and road bikes for this kind of terrain. So. Walk up trail to the top, one mile. What, 45 minutes or so? Yeah. I think. All yeah. right. So here's what it looks like. All right, let's go. way to go but we're yeah. doing good. I don't think we're not even halfway there yet. No we're not halfway but I'm gonna show you what great shape I'm in. I'm gonna run up the mountain. <laughs> okay. okay that lasted about five seconds. What are you five laughing seconds. at? You? Lasted about five seconds. Hey, do you need that yet? <laughs> no. Huh? No, I don't. You don't need it yet? Okay. All right, it's about to get serious right here. So are you ready for this? Yeah, ready? All right, let's go. All right. Let's go. one way of making it to the top. All right guys, we are on top of Stone Mountain. In fact, right now we're standing just above the carving that we saw just a few minutes ago. So here's what it looks like from the top, of course. Hey 
And here's a look of downtown Atlanta, which they say is about 16 miles away. It's not all that clear today, but it's not too bad. Maybe you can see that. Well, after enjoying this beautiful view from the top of Stone Mountain, it was time for us to walk back down. And let me tell you, the walk up as well as the walk down can be tricky. What you just saw there was not me dropping the camera, but rather me losing my footing. And after I took a few minutes to gain my composure, we continued the trip on down. All right, so Clay and I just came down the mountain. Uh, what do you what'd you think of it? Oh, it was great. Yeah, nice day to do it though. Gorgeous yeah. day to do it, 85 degrees today. Okay, now we're gonna go over and show you another way of getting to the top of the mountain. Well, we've arrived here at the Stone Mountain Sky Ride, another option of getting to the top of this more than 800 foot tall piece of granite. This option does provide a unique and beautiful view of not only Stone Mountain, but the surrounding area of Stone Mountain Park. As we said at the beginning, the carving of the three Civil War figures is larger than Mount Rushmore. It's over 90 feet tall, 190 feet wide, and 11 feet deep. Geologists say this piece of granite was formed during the formation of the Blue Ridge Mountains some 300 to 350 million years ago. That's a hundred million years before the dinosaurs. Go back down the mountain? Yep, we're going to go back down the mountain and we're going to go see the covered bridge. The covered bridge is just a short drive away from the walk up trail off Stone Mountain. This old covered bridge was built in the late 1800s, originally located in Athens, Georgia, but was moved to Stone Mountain in 1969. This plaque indicates that these types of bridges provided refuge for travelers during storms and courting couples, as well as robbers who hid themselves on the overhead timbers and would drop down on their unsuspecting victims. is the quarry exhibit, which is just across the street from the covered bridge. This is an outdoor display that was developed to tell the story of the industry that played a significant part in the history of Stone Mountain. From the 1850s through the 1970s, more than 7 million cubic feet of granite was removed from this side of the mountain. That's enough to stretch from the North Pole to the South Pole over 12,000 miles. Granite that was removed from here was shipped all over the world. It helped build the Imperial Hotel in Tokyo, the Panama Canal, and virtually every state in the United States has a building that was built with granite that was removed from Stone Mountain. 
including Georgia's own Capitol building, the dome at the Federal Gold Depository at Fort Knox, the east wing of the U.S. Capitol building. It even lies at the foundation of the Lincoln Memorial, located in Washington, D.C. And the quarry exhibit does a great job of showing the significant role that Stone Mountain has played not only throughout the world, but certainly here in the United States. Anybody want to guess how heavy this old piece of rock is? That's heavy. That's a lot of granite. All right, very cool, very cool. So this mountain, this rock used to be clay. This rock used to be even bigger than it is now. I know. Another part of the exhibit I wanted to check out was the railroad. You see, the railroad played a significant role in moving granite from this mountain to all parts of this country. I read in the brochure that the train was not running today. But then we heard a familiar sound off in the distance. I wanted to see the track up close, but not that close. Not to worry. We had plenty of time to remove ourselves from the track, and I was even able to set up one of my cameras and get a pretty cool shot out of it. Well, as promised, I wanted to take you very quickly through the campground here at Stone Mountain. If you go to their website, and I will provide a link in the description, you'll see this map. The campground is color-coded, and it also is broken down by trails. So what I want to show you first is the purple sites. The purple sites have full hookups and are very suitable for larger rigs. They're very easy to get into, very level surfaces which is one of the reasons I chose this particular area of the campground. Located inside the purple section is a comfort station, the swimming pool, and the playground. The campsites that are on the far right of the purple side really do provide shade throughout most of the day. Also located inside the purple section is the general store as well as the check-in for the campground. And general store does have a nice selection of some of the essentials that you might need. And again, looking at the map, I'm now taking you into the lime green sites. These are full hookups with both lakeside and inner side trail options. These sites are very shaded and they're also close to the general store. And they come in at a little bit cheaper price. Now let's have a look at the red sites. With both lakeside and inner side trail options, these are all full hookups located inside the heart of the campground. The red section has both pull through and back end sites. The last section I'll show you are the orange sites. These sites are slightly further away from the center of the park's campground, but they're still great spots with full hookups.
Well guys, that's a quick look at the Stone Mountain Campground. I want to thank you for sharing with us in our day here at Stone Mountain Park. If you like this video, smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed, then consider subscribing if you want to see more videos in the future. Our next stop is Ocean Lake Resorts in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and we hope to see you there. Until next time, be well and stay safe.